All right, today we're gonna talk about Gravely's line of residential products. With me, I've got the ZTX52, the ZTXL52, and the ZTHD52. And although, although they're all Gravely and all have some great DNA to them, we're gonna break down the differences as you walk up. So it depends on the size of property I have, what I'm looking to do with my lawn, that's gonna kinda of determine what model, or really if you just want the best. So let's start out with the ZTX. This right here is the Gravely ZTX 52. They make this in a 42 inch and a 52 inch. Uh, the 42 inch is gonna have a Kohler engine, the 52 is gonna feature a Kawasaki engine. It's a little bit bigger brother is the ZTXL 52. In this range, we've got a 42, a 48, and a 52 inch deck. They all have the Kawasaki engine. And then we go up to the ZTHD, and they have a 44 inch, a 48 inch, a 52 inch, and a 60 inch in the ZTHD. So we're gonna go over some of the basic differences, and you'll see me step up so you can see the differences as we move up the product line. So let's start. Whoop by comparing the ZTX with the ZTXL. And if you look at them, you can see they're very similar. I mean, the frame's the same, the deck's the same. It's really uh, a carbon copy of sorts between the two machines. But as we work through it, we'll see some of the differences, and then we'll get into the ZTHD and start seeing some major differences. So on the front end, we're gonna have the same wheel and tire size. We're gonna have the same frame. This is a, a welded one-piece frame from front to back, so not a lot of bolted on stuff um, that's gonna get loose, cause flex. A welded frame is definitely something to look at when you're checking out mowers. Both of these have the same deck hanger system. It's a very simple system, easy to adjust the level of the deck, but uh, it's a six point suspension on both and they are built very well. As you continue to move back, here's a difference, right? Okay, we have, no rubber floor mat, we have a rubber floor mat, and that's really just to absorb some of the vibration, uh, kind of dampen some of the noise. Hey, that's a small thing right there. As we continue to move back, we're gonna see a seat difference. So a little bit higher back, a little bit more comfortable seat on the ZTXL. We've got a larger rear wheel tire, and that's about all you see, really, right? Oh wait, I missed something. We got a headlight right here. So we got an LED headlight. But there's some hidden things that are going on that are hard to really to see. So from the outside, they look like the same. And in fact, if I wanted a headlight on this, I could throw one on. If I wanted a rubber floor mat on this, I could throw one on. If I really wanted, I could upgrade the seat, okay? What you're not seeing is, is, is a difference in the transmission. So this is a Hydra Gear sealed all-in-one transmission. I do nothing to it. I buy this unit, I drive it forever, maybe not forever, but for a bunch of years, and I do no maintenance to the transmission. They're a little jerkier, they're not quite as fast, you don't get the life out of a sealed transmission. And this is common in many mowers that are sub $4,000. Then we move up to the ZTXL and suddenly we're getting into a serviceable transmission. Now what does that mean? That means that that initial oil, we can get out of it, we can get fresh oil in, and every 400 hours we're gonna put more fresh oil in. So we're gonna change our filters. This machine has two transmission filters. This has none, right, it's sealed. So we're gonna change our fluid and filters initially at 100 hours and then every 400 hours after that. Because of these transmissions, it's faster. It goes from seven to seven and a half, not a lot faster. It's much smoother. And when you hop on it and you actually feel the difference between a sealed versus a serviceable transmission, you'll notice a difference right away. So it's a lot smoother, easier to go straight lines, easier to go around your property with. Just a small difference there. Actually, that's where the major difference is, is with that transmission. We have also metal deck covers, not a big thing, but this has a plastic deck cover, this has a metal deck cover. Just more durable, more robust, less likely to step on it and break it or something like that. So the basic differences would be in your headlight, your floor mat, your seat, and your transmission, okay? As we move over to the ZTHD, now I'm gonna compare, let me back up real quick. There's about a $1,000 price difference between each model, okay? So as we move up, you're gonna spend about $1,000 more. Now guys, this is where I get into the machine that I start seeing some awesome things, and I can, honestly, I can make these two units look pretty crummy. 
Now, if you compare them to their competition, they stand out. Some of the things they have from their frame and their deck hanging system, they work. When we get up into the HD, this thing stands out. First of all, you'll notice a much larger wheel size in the front end. You're gonna notice bigger bearings in the front end. So life of these bearings are gonna be much longer. We've got a heavier caster fork. We've got a heavier frame. If you look at the deck suspension here on both of them, this is, this is captive. It's held on both sides, much stronger arms, larger bolts. My deck rollers, both sides, instead of hanging on a bolt off to the side. We've got a flip up floor pan. We've got larger pulleys. We've got heavier belts. I'll grab a belt here in just a minute so we can see a difference. Again, we go to a better seat, a nicer seat. Something that gets overlooked is this height of cut system has a lockup. So right now the deck is all the way up. If I push my foot here, lift up, that deck's gonna drop down to the desired height. Let me drop this down to two and a half. Okay, lift up, deck drops down to two and a half inches, and then I can kick it and it's gonna lock all the way up, kind of the transport position. On these ones, I'll hop on the seat in just a minute and I'll show you how that works. Something that gets missed also is, is this arm system. Notice how those swing in. These are rigid, stiff. These just swing down. It actually gets rid of some of that side-to-side -side movement that you would have in the arms that make you feel like you're swimming at times or rowing at times when you're driving a zero turn. So a much smoother uh, drive system on this. We also have a deeper deck a heavier gauge steel mower deck, heavier spindles, again, bigger wheels and tires in the back, rubber buffers under the seat that absorb some of the vibration. And now we step up to a ZT3100 transmission versus a ZT2800. So this is an entry grade commercial transmission in this machine. It is faster, it is smoother, it is longer life. So. Big differences. Honestly, in my opinion, some guys are not going to like me for this. I, I apologize. It's tough to justify the $1,000 difference between the ZTX and the ZTXL. But as soon as you look at the $1,000 difference between the ZTXL and ZTHD, it makes all the sense in the world. This machine right here stands out from the pack in so many things. I want to step back onto this ZTXL and the ZTX has the same height of cut setup. I've got a dial here. I put my foot on this pedal. I turn this dial to whatever height I want in quarter inch increments. So say I want to mow it two inches. It's at two. It's going to always drop down to that height, but there's no lockup. And that's fine. It just means that you need to hold it up while you drive up onto your trailer or drive it in your shed as you go over a curb. That one has a lockup. Okay. I talked about these levers. This in and out motion, it works but you have a little bit more side to side swing on them. One other thing that I want to point out that I think is, is kind of a small thing, but worth, worth paying attention to, the ZTHD has a built-in oil drain. These don't, you've got a little plug, you've got to hook a hose to to drain and change your oil. I know it's small. This is just a time saver, a mess saver. Have you ever changed oil and gotten it everywhere and it's a mess and you got to clean that up? you don't need that spot on the floor. These are available for sale. We do stock them at Carl's Mower. It's a great upgrade if you haven't done so. Talked a little bit about belt size. This is a half inch belt. This is what's used on the ZTX and ZTXL. And this is a 5 8 belt. You can see the thickness difference. It's just a longer life. It's gonna, it's gonna move more power from the engine to the blades. And then we've got our spindles. And I, I just went over spindles very quickly. Switch that around. This is the spindle. This is what the blade mounts to that's used on the ZTX, ZTXL. And this is the spindle that's used on not only the HD, but actually the full line of Gravely commercial mowers. Much heavier, larger bearings in here, bigger shaft diameter, just a huge difference between them. So check out the full line of Gravely consumer products, the ZTX, maybe this is the right thing for your property. You've got an acre or less, or the ZTXL. Hey, if you have some more hills, it's worth looking at the ZTXL. 
And as you get into a bigger property yet and you're looking for the ultimate in comfort, uh, long life, durability, check out the ZTHD. One other thing I forgot to point out, there's not, I could keep going forever. One thing I forgot to point out or didn't point out is the bagging system. So all of these run a powered bagging system, meaning the grass comes out and there's a fan on the side that's kicking it up into the back, okay? Both of these machines have a horizontal shaft bagging mount system. So my fan sits just like this and it's spinning this way. Problem with this is that grass has to actually change direction. So it's all coming out this way and it changes direction. It's normal procedure. This is what everybody runs. It's a common practice and it bags well, much better than something without a blower fan. But when we get up to the ZTHD, we actually mount that fan at an angle like this. Okay, so as that grass comes out, it actually just kicks it in the butt and keeps it going up to the bag. So better bagging performance because of the depth of the deck, better mulching performance. Because of the blade tip speed, this runs 17,000 feet per minute. So if I'm standing on the tip of the blade, I'm going 17,000 feet a minute. And this runs 18,000 feet a minute. So because of some of those things, depth of deck, blade tip speed, this is going to mulch better, bag better, allow you to mow faster. All right, check out the full line of Gravely products at Carl's Mower and Saw. We're here to hook you up with the right machine for your property. We look forward to seeing you soon. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.